Hi all. So leave travel allowance is an allowance which is given by the employer to his employee for traveling in India with or without family. So this name is also sometimes name as leave travel concession or leave travel assistance. So there are certain rules regarding this LTC or LTA under section 10.5 and under those rules there are certain amount of exemptions which are allowed to the employee in case he makes a travel in India. So first we will understand about all the conditions. So first condition is that the amount which is paid as fare for travel via air, rail or bus is allowed. So in any case if the employee is going to travel in India in case uh, he himself is going to travel or with his family so in that particular case only the fares are allowed to be reduced as an exemption okay so agar airways se ja raha hai to airplane ki tickets railways se ja raha hai to rail ticket uh, rail tickets bus se ja raha hai to bus fare only the fare for travel is allowed as an uh, as an exemption under this rule subject to maximum limits so maximum limits abhi hum coming slides mein we will discuss so abhi tak ke liye you have to make sure that only the fare for travel is allowed as an exemption all other kind of expenses such as your hotel room charges food expenses these are not allowed to be reduced even your private car or your cab uh, or taxi whatever the fare you paid to them that at these are also not allowed to be reduced as a exemption okay so only the travel fare for airways railways or bus is allowed the next is the maximum amount of deduction is the leave travel allowance actually received by the employee so it can never exceed so in case your fare is exceeding your leave travel allowance then the maximum exemption allowed is only the leave travel allowance which is actually received by the employee LTA exemption can be claimed for two travels made in the block of four calendar years. Calendar years means January to December. Okay. So in a block of four calendar years only two travels are allowed as an exemption under your LTC. So in case an individual, an employee who has not taken two exemptions then he is allowed to carry forward one exemption to the first year of the next block. So for example the current applicable block is 2018 to 2021 that is the entire calendar year of, year of 18, 19, 20 and 21 and in that particular block in case the assessee that is your employee has not taken any exemption for the travel then what he can do he can carry forward one exemption to the next year. So next year kya hoga? 2022. So 2022 ke case mein first year mein usko exemption mil jayegi in case he makes a travel. Okay. Aur uske baad jo teen saal honge block ke usme wo do aur claim kar sakta hai. Theak hai. So every uh, block he can take the maximum exemptions for two travels and he case in any case if he doesn't make so then in that particular case he can carry forward that with only one exemption to the first year of the next block. Theak hai. Exemption is not allowed for expenses made on international travel that we have already discussed in the definition that the travel should be only in India. The exemption is allowed only for one travel within one calendar year. So, a calendar year mein ek hi allowed hai. Hai, char, uh, block that, that is aapke char calendar years mein do allowed hai aur a calendar year mein sirf ek hi allowed hai. Theak hai? Then next is it is allowed for all the expenses made on travel of himself or family members. Or family members may con con included a spouse, children. Children should be unmarried and dependent parents, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters also should be unmarried. And child include your stepchild as well as the adopted child. Okay. So this is the definition of your family. So, jo bhi air tickets, rail tickets ya uh, bus fare aapke ho rahe, plus aapke family members ke ho rahe, wo sare aap aggregate karke, you can claim as an exemption. Exemption is allowed only when the person claiming the exemption is also traveling. So, aisa case nahi hona chahiye, ki uski family travel kar rahi hai, the person who is asking for the deduction, that person also should make a travel along with them. 
सो so, या तो वो अकेले करे या फैमिली के साथ करे बट उस पर्सन को जाना जरूरी है जो क्लेम कर रहा है देन द एग्जामेशन इज अवेलेबल ओनली फॉर द टू सर्वाइविंग चिल्ड्रेन ऑलवेज मेक श्योर कि जो भी आपके एयर फेयर या रेल फेयर या आपका बस फेयर है दैट विल बी एप्लीकेबल ओनली फॉर द टू सर्वाइविंग चिल्ड्रन चिल्ड्रेन बट देर आर एग्जामेशन अटैच टू दिस कंडीशन फर्स्ट इज ऑल सर्वाइविंग चिल्ड्रेन बॉर्न बिफोर फर्स्ट अक्टूबर नाइनटीन आर अलाउड सो इन केस फर्स्ट अक्टूबर 1998 से पहले एम्प्लॉय के अगर थ्री थे चिल्ड्रेन तो थ्री के केस में भी इट विल बी अलाउड ठीक है सो दिस इज एप्लीकेबल ओनली आफ्टर फर्स्ट अक्टूबर 1998 नाइनटी खाली दो बच्चों पे अलाउड है सिमिलरली इन केस ऑफ मल्टीपल बर्थ आफ्टर द फर्स्ट चाइल्ड सो पहले बच्चे के बाद अगर ट्विंस हो जाते हैं ट्रिपलेट्स हो जाते हैं या और बच्चे हो जाते हैं एक ही बर्थ लाइक मल्टीपल बर्थ में तो उस केस में इट विल बी एडेड अप ठीक है उस केस में टू नहीं होगी वट एवर द रिजल्ट इज दैट विल बी एप्लीकेबल सो दैट इज हैपन ओनली आफ्टर द फर्स्ट चाइल्ड सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल पहले ही आपके ट्वेंस हो जाते हैं उसके बाद आपका एक बच्चा होता है तो दैट विल बी नॉट अलाउड सिर्फ ट्वेंस के केस में दो ही में ही मिलेगा बट अगर पहले आपका एक बच्चा है उसके बाद ट्वेंस हो जाते हैं देन थ्री के केस में इट विल बी अलाउड ठीक है सो ऑलवेज मेक श्योर कि बच्चे का बर्थ डेट क्या है एंड वट एवर द केस इज इन केस ऑफ मल्टीपल बर्थ दिस विल बी एडेड अप देन इफ सच अलाउंस इज रिसीव फ्रॉम फॉर्मर एम्प्लॉय दैट इज द एक्स एम्प्लॉयर आफ्टर रिटायरमेंट और टर्मिनेशन ऑफ सर्विसेज देन ऑल्सो द एल टी ए एग्जामेशन कैन बी टेक ओके सो फॉर्मर के केस में भी अगर कुछ अलाउंस मिल रहा है टर्मिनेशन या रिटायरमेंट पे और आप ट्रेवल कर रहे हो तो उस केस में ऑल्सो यू कैन क्लेम द एग्जामेशन अंडर दिस सेक्शन देन वट ऑल आर द मैक्सिम अमाउंट ऑफ डिडक्शन so the amount of concession in this section will not exceed the amount actually incurred in any case so what all are the conditions first is journey by air so agar koi bhi airways se ja raha hai to us case mein economy fare of national carrier by shortest route so in india it is your air india which is the national carrier so agar aap kahin pe bhi ja rahe ho to jo aapka national carrier hai wo jo economy fare charge kar raha that will be allowed एज अ मैक्सिम डिडक्शन आप जो एक्चुअल में पे कर रहे हो वो नहीं जो इकोनॉमी फेयर है ऑफ द नेशनल कैरियर बाय द शॉर्टेस्ट रूट ऑफ द सेम डिस्टेंस उस केस में आपका वो मैक्सिमम डिडक्शन अलाउड होगा चाहे आपकी जर्नी ब्रेक मैनर में हो रही है या इट इज अनब्रेकेबल दैट इट इज अ डायरेक्ट फ्लाइट इन दैट केस ऑल्सो द मैक्सिमम डिडक्शन इज द इकोनॉमी फेयर ऑफ नेशनल कैरियर बाय शॉर्टेस्ट रूट ओनली the next is journey by rail so in case you are making a travel through rail in that case first class ac rail rail fare by the shortest route to the place of destination so aapko first class ac ke rail fare ka maximum exemption mil jayega bhale hi aapka ticket price isse kam ho chahe zyada ho then third one is by bus or other mode so in a case place of origin of journey and destination are connected by rail and journey is performed by any other mode than air theek okay? hai so agar aap bus se kar rahe ho ya kisi aur mode se kar rahe ho aur aapki jo journey hai that is from your origin that is your place of residence and the place of destination both of them are connected through rail or aap air se nahi ja rahe ho aap kisi aur mode se ja rahe ho to us case mein first class ac Rail fare by the shortest route to the place of destination is your maximum amount of deduction. And in case it is not connected through rail, then in case of recognized transport system exists. So, if recognized transport system exists, exists, करता है तो उसका first class या फिर deluxe class fare of such transport by the shortest route to the place of destination, जहाँ पे it does not exist. Sorry, यहाँ पे आपका not आएगा if Recognized transport system does not exist in this case. First class AC rail fare by the shortest route, route and we'll assume that the journey had been performed by rail. Okay, so these all are the maximum deductions. इससे कम अगर आपका ticket price है तो कम मिलेगा, but इनसे ज़्यादा नहीं मिल सकता. तो अगर आपका ticket price इससे ज़्यादा है, तो ये सिर्फ maximum ही मिलेगा. अगर कम है तो कम मिलेगा. ठीक है आपको कम के केस में ज्यादा नहीं मिलेगा तो आपके जो भी एक्चुअल टिकट प्राइजेस होगी उसको कंपेयर किया जाएगा विद दी मैक्सिमम अमाउंट ऑफ डिडक्शन एंड उसके बाद डिसाइड होगा कि आपको कितना एग्जामेशन मिलेगा सो दिस इज योर एलटीसी एंड 
प्रैक्टिकल क्वेश्चंस इसमें से नहीं आएंगे आपके थ्योरिटिकल क्वेश्चंस ही आएंगे सो जस्ट रीड एंड लर्न एवरीथिंग एंड इन केस ऑफ एनी डाउट्स प्लीज लेट मी नो द अदर टॉपिक आई वांट टू कवर इज प्रॉफिट इन ल्यू ऑफ सैलरी व्हिच इज अंडर सेक्शन 17 सब सेक्शन 3 सो एनी अमाउंट ऑफ एनी कंपनसेशन ड्यू और रिसीव्ड बाय एन एम्प्लॉय फ्रॉम हिज एम्प्लॉयर और एक्स एम्प्लॉयर एट और इन कनेक्शन विद द टर्मिनेशन ऑफ हिज एम्प्लॉयमेंट सो टर्मिनेशन ऑफ हिज एम्प्लॉयमेंट कैन हैपन due to any reason it could be death or it could be retirement or it could be resignation it could be anything so in case your termination uh, uh, is there uh, that there is a termination of his employment or the modification of the terms and conditions relating there to so agar terms and conditions mein bhi koi modification ho rahi hai aur usse regard regarding aapko koi bhi compensation mil raha hai so that is regarded as profits in lieu of salary so profits in lieu of salary is a part of your salary income and this will be added in your gross salary and taxed accordingly under the head from income from salary so any amount received by an employee under key man insurance policy so key man insurance policy kya hoti hai this is the policy for insuring the important person of the organization so usually it happens for directors and the persons which the company thinks are very important so whatever the amount in case any kind of payment is being received by the employee under the scheme and insurance policy this will be regarded as profit in lieu of salary similarly agar koi bhi payment due ya received hoti hai employee ko from the unrecognized provident fund ya fir unapproved superannuation fund to the extent which such payment does not consist of contribution by the employee or interest thereon that will be considered as profit in lieu of salary and we have already discussed both the methods in which the employee contribution jo uska payment ka hai jo contribution jo payment received hota hai wo uska uh, wo exempt hota hai aur jo interest hota hai it is chargeable as tax under the income from other sources that we have already considered so employer ka jo bhi contribution payment mein aata hai ya fir jo interest hota hai that will be considered as profit in lieu of salary jo hum under the head of income of from salary hum charge karte hain so following payments received by an employee will not be termed as profits in lieu of salary to the extent they are exempted under section 10 so under section 10 humne kafi exemptions ki thi regarding your gratuity your pension your retrenchment compensation from your statutory provident fund or from your ppf from your recognized provident fund approved superannuation fund and house rent allowances so all these payments to the extent they are not exempted can be termed as profit in lieu of salary so this is the definition of profit in lieu of salary under section 173 so in short you always have to keep that in your mind that whatever amount you are receiving to the extent they are not exempted can be termed as profit in lieu of salary and whatever amount is this that should be taxable under the head of your income from salaries pgbp other sources un sab ka koi bhi amount aapka profit in lieu of salary nahi mana jata hai khali wahi amounts mane jate hain jo aapke taxable hote hain under the income from salary aur ye sare wahi aapke amounts hai jo exempt hone ke baad jo aapka net taxable hota hai usko hum profit in lieu of salary kehte hain So, इसमें से भी कोई आपका प्रैक्टिकल क्वेश्चन नहीं है एज सच दिस इज मोर फ्रॉम द थ्योरिटिकल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो यू हैव टू लर्न एंड अंडरस्टैंड एवरीथिंग ठीक है और इन केस ऑफ एनी डाउट्स यू कैन डेफिनेटली रीच आउट टू मी आई मेक द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑन परकुजिट एंड इन केस ऑफ एनी डाउट्स यू कैन राइट मी ओके थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो